Understanding Relative Clauses A Deep Dive into English Grammar Hello, and welcome back to our series on Intermediate English Grammar. Today, we are going to focus on a really interesting topic, Relative Clauses. We'll do a deep dive into identifying relative clauses in texts, but we won't stop there. We're also going to discuss how to use them in your writing and speech to make your English more fluent and natural. So, let's get started. First things first, what exactly is a relative clause? A relative clause is a kind of dependent clause that often works to describe or give more information about a noun. It starts with a relative pronoun like, who, which, that, whom, where, when, or whose. For example, in the sentence, the book that you gave me is fantastic, that you gave me, is the relative clause. It's giving more information about the noun, book. Relative clauses can be divided into two types, defining relative clauses and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses, also known as restrictive relative clauses, are essential to the meaning of a sentence. They give key information about the noun they're modifying. For example, the people who live next door are very friendly. Non-defining relative clauses, also known as non-restrictive relative clauses, add extra information about the noun they're modifying, but if you remove them, the sentence still makes sense. For example, my brother, who is an engineer, is moving to Germany. Now that we understand what relative clauses are and the types of relative clauses, let's move on to the formative assessment section. This involves quizzes and exercises to help you understand and identify relative clauses better. Here are a few sample sentences. Identify the relative clauses and determine if they are defining or non-defining. 1. The dress that I bought yesterday is blue. 2. My grandmother, who is 87, can still recite Shakespeare. 3. Do you know the girl who is talking to John? 4. Tom, who hates spinach, refused to eat his dinner. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you practice identifying and using relative clauses, the better you'll become at it. That's it for today's lesson on relative clauses. We've learned what a relative clause is, the types of relative clauses, and we've done some practice exercises to reinforce our learning. Remember, practice is key when it comes to improving your grammar skills. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll continue our journey into the world of English grammar. Until then, keep practicing and happy learning.